This city with less than 300,000 people has a metro system, and surprisingly, it's in the US. When you think about transit in the United States, you might think of New York City's subway, Chicago's L, or San Francisco's cable cars. What you might not know is that many cities across the US have transit systems that you don't hear about. Let's check out one of them in the heart of the country, St. Louis's Metrolink. From humble beginnings. Like many cities in the U.S., up until about the 1950s, St. Louis had a network of streetcars all across the city. These streetcars would eventually be torn out and replaced with bus services. And during this time, many urban renewal projects across the city tore down dense walkable neighborhoods in favor of highways and housing projects. Much of the city's transit ridership was cut down significantly. However, in the late 80s, there was some renewed interest in reviving rail transit in St. Louis by using some of the city's older rail infrastructure that went through downtown and other major neighborhoods of the region, including areas west of the city and to the east over the river in Illinois. In 1990, construction on the first 14 miles of the system began to create stations in the areas that were surveyed, and on July 31st, 1993, the first 16 stations and 14 miles of track opened to the public. The system was an immediate success, getting its millionth rider within the first month of services starting on the line. Due to this immediate success, the planning for the expansion of the system was already underway. With an airport extension opening in 1994, and the first expansion into St. Louis in 1998, the system kept expanding even further in the 2000s by utilizing existing rail right-of-ways and by building shorter extensions rather than building massive expansion projects. Other expansions that have been constructed have been a second station at the airport, a blue line extension to Shrewsbury Lansdowne, and a red line extension to Shiloh Scott. Let's take a look at Metrolink's current existing network. The red line, which runs from the airport to the east, and the blue line, starting from Shrewsbury Lansdowne. At the Forest Park to Bolivar station, the lines join together and continue running east through the central west end neighborhood into downtown's rail tunnels and cross over the Mississippi at the Eads Bridge. They share the same trackage until the end of the blue line at Fairview Heights. The red line continues on eastbound to Shiloh Scott, where it currently terminates. The operations of Metrolink. Currently, both lines on the system operate with frequencies of every 12 minutes during rush hour and every 15 minutes during any other time of the day. Metrolink, like many other American transit agencies, is not a 24-hour system and runs generally between the hours of 5 a.m. and 12.30 a.m. Pricing for Metrolink trains is set at a fixed fare rate, meaning it will cost the same to travel any distance along the line. Standard fare single-ride tickets cost $2.50, Day passes for the system cost $5, and monthly passes cost $78. It's important to note that if you have plans to transfer to a bus after riding Metrolink, they do not allow transfers on the single ride tickets. So you'll have to either buy a two hour pass, which is $3, or just get the day pass, which is $5. In terms of scanning the tickets, the system currently uses a fare validation to scan tickets. However, they do have plans to switch over to a turnstile fare gate system in the future. Let's talk about the rolling stock. Currently, Metrolink is using both SD400s and SD460s. These are light rail vehicles made by Siemens Mobility. In terms of passenger comfort, these vehicles are perfectly acceptable for the short trips that you'd be taking them on. As well, I've noticed that Metrolink does a good job of keeping these trains clean. Some of these trains have received refurbishments, however, they are getting quite dated. But very recently, Metrolink received funding to start replacing their oldest vehicles with newer Siemens S200s starting in 2026. Now let's talk more about the future of Metrolink and St. Louis. When it comes to expansions, Metrolink has been looking at multiple different projects to improve rail service in the region. The first one is an eastward extension to the Red Line that would connect Mid-America Airport in Illinois to the system. Construction on this extension is scheduled to start in late 2023. This, however, is not the only expansion plan that Metrolink has, as they're currently looking at a north-south running light rail line. This new line would be much different than the current lines, as the trackage would be center running along Jefferson Avenue, compared to the existing lines that use older railroad right-of-ways. It's not known yet if the system will include dedicated right-of-way or even have signal priority, but this route would connect with the existing Metrolink trains via a brand new station to allow transfers. What is known is that the north-south alignment would be a much welcome extension to the system. Currently, north-south routes within the city are only served by bus lines like the 70, which although it's high frequency, it lacks the capacity of an actual LRT line. Metrolink is a transit system that many people in the St. Louis region rely on to get to work, see family, or just enjoy a day in the city. It's going to be very interesting to see how this agency can utilize its momentum as a transit system to grow its network and serve more people in the St. Louis region. Have you ever taken Metrolink? Do you take it regularly? How do you feel about its future? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.
If you like my content, be sure to check out my other socials linked down below. Here's a special thank you to everybody who helped out on the video. Want your name in the credits? Be sure to subscribe to my Instagram or TikTok, or follow me on Patreon, links down below. Thank you for watching everybody, and I'll see you on the next episode.